This was uh, the launch. We're celebrating the launch of the Node 3 Tranquility, which was the part of the International Space Station that made it possible to have a crew of six. It had uh, the ability to recycle air, to recycle water. It added a new toilet. It added a new kitchen. And that made it possible for us to go from having three people in space to having six people on the International Space Station. I had the privilege of serving as the lead systems engineer for the Node 3 Tranquility. And since it launched exactly 10 years ago today, we thought we'd get our team back together to celebrate our glory days. It was one of the most complex elements on the International Space Station, and this team did it. We worked with our friends at Alenia, the uh, Thales Alenia Space in Italy, the European Space Agency, our friends at Johnson Space Center, and the wonderful engineers here at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. So it was a fantastic team that pulled off an incredible technological feat, and it was launched 10 years ago today, February 8, 2010. And so we are here to celebrate 10 years of six crew capability on the International Space Station. That's right, it was a global effort. We had people in Italy, we had people in the Netherlands, we had people in Huntsville, we had people in Washington, D.C., we had people in Houston. It was all intended to interface with a space station that has all these different nations participating in it, the Canadians, the Europeans, the Japanese, the Russians. And so we have people on our team that actually helped manage the interface between the United, space, United States segment and the Russian segment, and also manage the interfaces from the U.S. segment to the European segment, and the U.S. segment to the Japanese segment, and we interfaced with the Canadian robotic arm. So it was a, a global, international effort, and the team that led it, that got it to, the, to orbit, got it to space, and got it integrated onto the space station, is right here in Huntsville. And we had a lot of good people that we worked with throughout the world in order to make that happen. And what the astronauts love the most about it is that it was also launched with the cupola, which is basically a bay window. And it provided a beautiful view of Earth for the astronauts. And when you provide extra habitation functionality, recycled air, recycled water, extra toilet, extra kitchen, it makes it more comfortable to live there. But what they do most of the time when they're free, when they're not performing science experiments and doing research, they sit at the window and look at Earth where we are. And this launch included the cupola, which added a bay window view to the International Space Station. So the Node 3 and the cupola were launched together on STS-130, and that was 10 years ago today. Well, I tell you that of all the people that worked on this project, I am the least qualified. And to work with so many excellent engineers, it actually made me grow into a better engineer myself. And it was a privilege and an honor to work with all these people. And it's exciting when we see video from space. That we see the crew, the astronauts, fluttering around in, in a part of the space station that we built. Uh, yes, we actually had some members of our team who died in the last few years. And so we have honored some of them by bringing their relatives. Donna Persia was a personal friend of mine. She died a couple years back, but we brought her mother to celebrate. She came in from St. Louis. And uh, Steve McClard was the program lead for the Node 2. And he died a couple years back, but his widow, uh, Beth McClard, will be joining us today as well. So we wanted to celebrate those who are still with us and those that we just hold in our memories. But it was definitely a, a big team, a big project, but we all worked together as a family. And we spent a decade together working on this. And so we look back at this uh, with a lot of fond memories, but also holding in our hearts the people that can't celebrate with us today.